Hey guys, it is Devin here and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long time since I filmed a vlog for you. I feel like all, all my vlogs lately, I start off with, I'm sorry it's been so long that I haven't vlogged, but being a mom and running a business and being an influencer and a model all at the same time, it's all very new. And so I'm kind of just getting my bearings and doing the best I can when it comes to creating content for you guys. So I want it to be thoughtful content. I want it to be something you guys are interested in. And I recently saw a lot of you guys were asking me to refilm a essentials video. So I did a newborn essentials video when Enzo was like two weeks old. Well, she now is four months. I think she's like 13 weeks now. So, or no, 16, 17 weeks. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> um, so some things that I was loving back then, obviously she's grown out of and grown into other things. And I kind of just wanted to review that for you. So if you like the video, um, don't forget to like and subscribe. I like to say, I'm gonna start saying it earlier because I feel like by the time you guys get to the end, you just click out when it's over and whatever. So like and subscribe if you like this video and this content and please comment below any thoughts, questions, or anything you might have for me. So let's just dive right in. So Enzo just turned four months a few weeks ago and she is, not crawling yet. She's just now starting to slowly like try to turn over. She's smiling, she's laughing, she's much more active. Um, she kind of sits and stands with assistance. So all of this is really exciting, especially from being a newborn. All they do is just like sleep all day long. So yeah, this is really cool as a mom just to, like see your baby grow and so much changes so quickly. So some of the things I'm loving, let's just dive right into it. Now, let me preface this by saying you don't really need any of these things. All you need is like lots of love and um, milk and diapers. Anyways, yeah, so you don't need any of this, but some of these things have just made my life much easier. So I'm gonna start off with our number one favorite, it's funny because I didn't have this swing in the beginning. In the beginning, I had this like four moms kind of like electric swing and a nurse in the hospital recommended this and a lot of other people recommended this swing and it's the Fisher Price swing. I'll put a little clip here. I'll show you right, literally right now. Um, and also I'll link everything below for you guys. You can click to shop it super easy. You don't have to worry about finding it, finding the brand, whatever. They make different colors, but that swing is amazing. I don't know why they love it. They have different speeds. It plays sounds, it swings, and it's literally the only place that she'll take a nap if it's not in my arms right now because we're not like having her nap in the crib. So that has been probably my number one favorite. She's kind of grown out of the Dakotot. That was one of my newborn favorites that she's sort of grown out of because she's kind of trying to roll around and she just gets like bored in it. And again, when she naps, she really only naps and my arms were in that swing. Another favorite is something she just got for Christmas. My mom just got it. It's like a skip hop play activity center. Basically that little level at the bottom, you can move up so that their feet can touch and she can stand in there and she spins around and she can like play with the different things and she'll entertain herself in that for like a good 20 plus minutes. Depends, sometimes a little longer or shorter, um, depending on like her mood but that has been great because it kind of gets her sitting upright. Obviously she's not fully sitting upright in her arms, so she kind of goes back and forward, but she leans forward to the thing because it comes up here on her chest and she can kind of play in front of her. So that's been really fun and good for her neck strength um, as well. Also, another thing, this one looks like a bit of a disaster because I'll show you a clip right now. It's got like a lot going on, like a mirror and all these things trying to like entertain her, but we do her tummy time there and we do like back play time. So it's basically this like mat with a little piano at the feet. And then when she's laying there, she can kind of grab the things above her. And then when she hits the keyboards with her feet, as she's like moving her feet, it plays songs. And then we'll flip her over and we'll put her on her tummy. We'll put like a mirror in front of her or like just the light up piano keys. So that one has been amazing because we kind of do all, most of her playtime like there. Um, I also have like a lot of books around there and a lot of high contrast cards, just like a lot of things to like get her excited. So that's been really fun. Another great thing that I highly recommend you do is get the love every subscription box. I don't know if it's a subscription or if you just buy it monthly, but basically they break it down from the baby's age. So I think it was like zero to three and then now three to six. 
and they've got different toys for different age ranges. I was very confused before, like, what is my three month old, four month old do right now? She doesn't do that much. So like, there's very specific like teethers and high contrast cards and books with different textures. And they send you that based on their age. So those are like age appropriate things. So that's been really amazing. And then the other like kind of expensive bouncer thing that I'll put her in while she's awake. So that swing, the Fisher Price swing, she goes in when she's asleep and then when she wakes up, she'll like look around for a little bit, but then she likes to be doing stuff. I'll put her in this baby Bjorn bouncer and then there's also this little railing attached that you can see it's like attached little clip on with these little toys in front of her. And she'll just like grab that and she loves this. She will sit in there for a really long time. So yeah, those are probably my main things that I have downstairs in our living room, like fully accessible because I use them literally every single day. Another thing we use every day is our sterilizer. We're still sterilizing her bottles. I think I might've tagged that in the newborn video, but I'll say it again because I do love this sterilizer because it sterilizes and dries. A lot of the other ones just sterilize and then it leaves you with these like wet bottles and stuff. So this is a sterilizer and a dryer in one which is great because otherwise they get like musty and wet and they're not dry. And then also this little grass pad. I bought a white one, they make different colors. It's like a little rectangle plastic, got like little grass up there so you can put your bottles. You can buy these like little tree things that come up and you can put the pacifiers on it. So like after I go to, it goes in the sterilizer, if it's still like a little damp, I just like pop it on top of there or if I'm hand washing something, I put it there to dry. That's been great. I think I said this in the newborn as well, a diaper caddy. So instead of going all the way upstairs to her training table to change her every time, we have a little like diaper set up downstairs on my sofa. Not great, like in terms of prettiness in the middle of our sofa, but we have like a big end kind of like lounger to the sofa. So we just put like a little changing pad there and a little diaper caddy, which is great because it's got like all of her diapers, essentials and whatnot. We have been using and loving coterie diapers um, and wipes. It's like no bleaches, no harsh chemicals, um, just like very natural, which I really like for her diapers. I didn't want to use anything that had like a lot of chemicals that could irritate the skin. And then for diaper cream, I still am loving and using the Aquaphor Baby that I love. And if she has like a little redness or any irritation, I put the Honest Diaper Rash Cream. It's like white and thicker, but I don't use that all the time because it's very, um, just like thick and white. Ooh. The pacifiers that she has been loving are bibs. We used Frigg's, but they got a recall on those. So I really like the bibs ones. Those are great. And then she has all sorts of different kind of like pacifier clips because God knows we would like have to wash them all the time that she's like always spitting them out and dropping them. So we just clip it right onto her bib. So that's been great. The tub we have now graduated to like an actual bathtub. And then within that tub is this angel care, like microfiber, like non-bacterial getting tub. And it's like a little round thing and it has like, a, it's by angel care, I'll link it. And it's got like kind of mesh there. So the water flows in and out and she lays it and she plays. That's what we love. She loves bath time. So that's been fun. Her bottles that we're using, I still am nursing full-time exclusively, but um, I have my milk supplies gone down a little bit. So at the end of the day, we'll give her a little bottle to like top her off right before bedtime. So she goes to bed really full. And then we give her a bottle at 7 a.m. Like a really big eight ounce bottle. I was using Dr. Brown's all the way up until about a week or two ago. And I just recently switched to Komotomo. I had bought those before I had the baby. And I just wanted to use Dr. Brown's in the beginning. Cause I knew it was like for sure going to help with like getting gas and colic. These Komotomo bottles are made to also help with gas. Like they're not supposed to ingest a lot of air through those, but they're great because I had to kind of graduate her to like the level two nipple of the bottle, the level ones for newborn. So level two is like three months and up. And I was worried once doing that on the Dr. Brown's that she wouldn't want my boob anymore basically because it was like faster flowing through the bottle and she was gonna get lazy. So I wanted to switch to a bottle that was like more, as much of a boob as possible and that's what they, they call these Como Tomo bottles the like breast bottle. Basically, it's like the closest thing to a boob. It's it's like round, um, very round, not super small. It's like a big round head, like silicone, which I love that it's made of silicone and not plastic. So she switched 
right on over to those and like absolutely loved it. So we've been using those for her bottles. I'm trying to think, I still love Pipette. It's a all kind of natural, clean shampoo and body wash brand. I also use their lotions. Um, so that's what her lotions and shampoos are. I'm trying to think of the questions you guys asked me that to link on Instagram. My stroller, I'm still loving the Duna. It's just so incredibly convenient that it's a car seat and a stroller in one, like when she's in the car seat and asleep and I have an appointment, I like unclick it, pop down the wheels, the wheels pop out, stroller right in. And then for like long walks and because I knew she'd eventually grow out of the Duna, I had bought the Uppa Baby Vista, I wanna say it is. And she's kind of graduated from that bassinet that goes into that to the actual stroller. And I bought this like little gray insert that goes inside the stroller because she was still a little small, but she wanted to like get up and look around. I think that's pretty much the main things that she's been loving. She loves to be carried on walks too. I have an RT Pop carrier, but that one's really stylish, but a little bit on the expensive side. I also have a baby Bjorn carrier because I used to wrap her with those wraps. Um, but she just got a little bit bigger and heavier and like wanted to kind of like put her head out a little bit more. And so I also got the graduate from that to this baby Bjorn one and the RT Pop one. There's so many carriers out there. Those are just two of my favorites. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. High contrast cards are a big one and rattles and teethers, all that good stuff. But I'll definitely, things change every day. So I'll definitely do this in the next few months to kind of review what she's liking then um and yeah that's it well i'm really really excited that i just did this quick vlog for you guys telling you what her favorites are i hope this is helpful um when i do get the chance to read your guys's dms it really means a lot to me when you i mean i love to hear that you're like oh i you know i watched your vlog or i watched your stories and like i love the products that you linked it was so helpful for me to know like if you're about to have a baby or if it's your first baby or you just have one whatever it is so I hope this was helpful. I know I spoke fast, but again, I will link it all below so it's easy for you and you don't have to worry about it, um, finding it online. So again, you don't need any of this, but a lot of it has been very helpful for me and Enzo has really liked it. So yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.